we'd like to welcome those of you who saw Kentucky defeat Arkansas tonight. Welcome to Cameron Indoor Stadium here in Durham. Dan Schulman, Jay Billis, Holly Rowe, and a big one and a good start for Louisville getting a dunk in transition. He is able to come in off the bench, run the point. He's dynamic, athletic, and can really see plays. Great back door. How about that feed from Ryan McMahon to the cutting David Johnson in the lead bros for Louisville. And you know that Chris Mack has wanted that for a pressure release all game long. How about that defense? David Johnson takes the ball away and then fires about a 40-foot pass to Dwayne Sutton. Usually works for Duke, but it didn't this time. A terrific dig by David Johnson. Look at Wara moving without the ball, getting the cut, missing the layup, but Malik Williams follows it up for a deuce. Johnson. Boy, look at that. What a play. That kid is legit. Left shoulder surgery back in July. Missed the first four games of the season, but loads of upside in getting more minutes game by game. From the cap to the shooting pocket and up into a shot so quickly. He doesn't really take a jump shot. It's more of a set shot. Beautiful cut. And another great look, and it's Johnson again. What a start he's had tonight. That was a devastating blow and really difficult mentally to recover from. And don't think they don't remember that coming into this building. They do. You know what? They didn't have that guy last year. A terrific job of a screen roll and a hard roll. Ball's loose. Samuel Williamson, freshman for Louisville, comes up with it. And he'll go in and jam it. Successful stint with Xavier. McMahon got caught in the air, turns it over. Jones has help. Baker for three. Stanley the rebound. Johnson, a freshman from Trinity High in Louisville, won a state title last year, and he has been great for the moment he entered the game. And look at that kick to Perry in the corner for three. Hit four of his last six from three coming into this game. Jones can't get it to Perry. Now Stanley for three. Wow. He's not running any offense right now. He didn't make a pass on that play. Johnson took it on his own. Perry. Money in there. That's in order to win this game. And they're going to have to do it without Jordan War for the next one. Sutton the kick. Perry. Johnson for three. And the freshman does it again. And Darius Perry. They've gone out on Patrick Stanley. That's a little more athletic matchup on him. Perry over Williams in the follow for Hurt. Well, how about Matthew Hurt? That was with the left hand. Matthew Hurt right here. He's going to come all the way from the perimeter. And nobody even turns. And he goes right over a great rebounder in Dwayne Sutton. Because nobody turned to box out. They all wanted to jump for that rebound. He hasn't been playing as much of late because of defense. But his defense is starting to improve. Baseline drive Stanley. And scores over Malik Williams. For the offensive end. Johnson. Williams, here comes the help, and Williams still scores. He kept poise in the post. You don't want to help off on him and let him pass it. Make him finish a tough two. Johnson, the story for Louisville in the first half, and it continues over him. 17 in the first half for, D for Johnson, the freshman. Heard it the other end, bangs down a three. Johnson wants to take this on his own. I'm going to go to the team. Yeah, force it out of his hand. Williams for three. Johnson the assist. And the Cardinals will take a 10-point lead into halftime here at Cameron. Perry. Jones one-on-one -on -one with Kimball. Gets by him and lays it in. Hey, Louisville a little casual getting back in transition. Catholic, yet Louisville still leads. And by the way, that foul on Vernon Carey Jr. Just want to keep an eye on That's number three on him. Stanley elevating again. Ball down to Dwayne Sutton. See if Louisville can get the ball to Warren. Being guarded by Jack White. He's got to start putting some points on the board. Amber Carey's got three fouls, and Enoch will spin right around him. You want to see them go inside as much as they can because Carey's got three? Yeah, I mean, they always get the ball in the paint, but they also need to stop. Stephen Enoch needs to roll hard to the basket when he sets the screen. Another three by a Louisville big guy. And Louisville ball. Delorier fortunate not to get called for a foul there. Wara behind the back in traffic. And the follow will go for Fresh Kimball. That was a, a good answer out of the timeout because...
Louisville did not come out as tough in the second half as it did in the first. Jones, tough contested shot, will go. And what a difference in his offensive game. He really worked on that shot. The players can't allow the contact because they are going to get just locked into the post. Then he can't move. Sutton guarded by Hurt, goes right at him and lays it in. Matthew Hurt on Dwayne Sutton go after him. Clemson game this week. Hurt had Kevin Mack on him, and Mack made life very difficult for Hurt. Instead of maintaining contact. Nice look ahead. Sutton and Warren will get an easy one. Well, that was a terrific pass ahead. Up of the loose ball. Terrific defense by Fresh Kimball. Now the advantage situation. Johnson rejected by Baker. Trey Jones with defense on the ball on Johnson, trying to get him to turn his back. Another turnover. Jones ahead to Stanley. Oh, what a great steal by Jack White. Stanley with a block from behind, but Williamson with a reverse. On the rebound to the Blue Devils. They got a chance to run. I'm surprised that something didn't drive that ball from the corner. Good pass. Hurt. Lays it in. Good patience in the paint. And in the second half, but they've got the shot they want. Another, another tough one. Yeah, very. Tough three there for Warren, and it's Stanley again. Well, Louisville needs a timeout here. And Jordan Warren, who averages 20, just four points tonight. Kimball, little stop and go, and Louisville back on top. Boy, what a play by Fresh Kimball. Ooh, Jones, left hand, no. Surprised there wasn't a foul there, a lot of body contact. Warren, her chasing, and Warren slams it home. He better be strong going to the bucket. Should be ranked in the top 10 based upon their personnel. Florida blew out of Auburn today. Back into the game with four fouls is Vernon Carey Jr. Played all that much because of the foul trouble. Now to the double figures. Carey again, immediate double team. Screen from Patrick Stanley to get him in a low post. Jones buries a three and it's tied again. And Carey Jones stepping up large for the Blue Devils here in the second half. Open is Kimball. Down a three. Two layups. First Malik Williams and Jordan Ora. Jones for the lead. Carey with a one-handed rebound and put back. What a reversal. There goes the screen. There it is. And Chris Max brought Ryan McMahon back into the game. He doesn't have a point yet. He does now. Well, he just popped out after the switch. And he had time to set his feet on Carey. Not often is guarding a small guy that does that. Oh. Johnson with a two-handed slam for his first points of the second half. And the Green Bay Packers on the eve of the conference title games. A little bit turns the ball over on out-of-bounds underneath. Johnson driving again. Kicks it. Stolen by Goldwire. Scores over Sutton, who's playing with four fouls, and it's down to one. Does not need a three. Take it to the rim. Jones turned it over. Ahead of the pack is Williams, and Louisville's going to win it here at Cameron. And what an answer by Louisville. This job by the Cardinals, and what a great play by Malik Williams to knock those free throws down and come back and seal this thing with a two-handed dunk. Boy, is their jubilation on the bench to our far right right now for the Cardinals. They lost to Texas Tech in the Garden. But they answered big time in this one on the road at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Baker with a three in the final second. But it'll be the Louisville Cardinals going out of here happy. A significant road win for the Cardinals here. But Cameron, they beat Duke 79-73. to